Okay, we're speaking to my father, Mr. Sidney Schwimmer, Zalman Tuvia Schwimmer. Today is January 28th, 2015. And today we are going to discuss the years 1945 from the end of World War II and the liberation of my father until he arrived in the United States of America. Okay, so we'll okay. start, Daddy, so you'll start talking to us about, a, let's say, two or three days before the liberation, where you found yourself and what happened. Okay. Behind. Now, uh, the story of the liberation, I cannot tell you because many people were liberated. The only thing I'll tell you where I was liberated and when I was liberated. I was liberated in Bergen, Belgium, and uh, it was, I think, April the 15th. I'm not sure now, now I forgot a lot of dates, but if, correct me somewhere if, you, if, if I'm wrong. Okay. Okay. Now, April 15, 1945. And this one, 1945, like everyone there, no. Excuse me, when were you taken? How long, what, how long in actual time were you a prisoner of war? From which date well, to which date? Uh, I don't remember now dates exactly, okay. but I was almost a year. Okay. It's not. So, here is the story. I was liberated in 1945. I'm not going to tell you the liberation. It was by the English people. I was liberated in Bergen, Belgium. Why in Bergen, Belgium? Actually, the Germans had a plan. It was this last plan that all the, who are in concentration camps around in Germany, they'll take them to Bergen, Belgium at one place, and they'll, they'll, they'll destroy them, whatever it is. So I was taken much before to Bergen, Belgium. And I am not going to describe to you the life in Bergen, Belgium, because this is in the history of what the people went through. And very few survived because it was a dead march and it's a long, long, long story. Anyhow, I'm talking now what happened. I was liberated. I was liberated, I believe, April the 15th, 1945. So I find myself right now. Uh, Actually, Could you give us the details of the liberation? Uh, the details. The details, I don't, I remember it was on a Sunday and the English people came in. How many people? Uh, I don't know, because I was actually in typhoid sickness there. Then they came in and I was, in, was fever, and with a lot of fever, and I, many people at that the time already didn't survive. So, uh, so at, I'm t talking, I'm telling you now what happened after the liberation. No, I need to know what happened when the English came. They came over when to you? No, no, no. When the English came in, I don't know, I was very, very sick. sick. I, was, I was on typhoid. I remember they came in on a, on a Sunday, and there was in the, in the lag and in Bergen Bells and many, many people. And they gave for everyone a can of meat and people were very hungry, were starving, and many people, myself, they ate it because they were very hungry, and many people after that couldn't survive anymore because their stomach and so on. I had a very, very bad experience. I also ate, and hardly I survived the night, and everyone was in a typhoid at that time. They brought a but can of meat? A can of can of meat. And what else? The English people. I, can, I don't know. I was I was feverish. It was okay. All right. Very so. hot, hot fever. And, and then they, they left. Gave. They gave a can of meat and they left, or they to transported you. No, well, it's a long, transported a long time. I will take two weeks. After that, we still had that two weeks. Oh, you were Not still in Bergen Belsen for two weeks. I am yes, you Bergen Belsen. I'm talking now about Bergen Belsen. Okay. So. I was liberated there, it was on a Sunday, and I believe it was April the 15th. You know, I don't remember dates now exactly. By the English people. Uh, I don't remember because I was very sick, I was in a typhoid, 
I didn't know that it, I had typhoid, I was with very ha big fever, but I remember when the English came Do in. Do you remember when you saw them that you differentiated and you knew the war was yeah, over? Yeah, so no, they came in later, about two weeks, we still were there, many people, not everyone. First, they took the women to sell, to sell it to hospitals, and there was a lot of them, and they didn't have the transportation, didn't have the means to transport everyone. So I was still there for about two weeks. And who took care of you? It was a very, very, very bad situation. No one was taking care of it, because English people, first they took, took the woman, they took. So anyhow, I can talk a lot about this. Is, uh, uh, I'll talk now. Uh, uh, Who's uh, left in Bergen-Belsen? Uh, How many they people? Were, they were still left a lot of people. Actually, why was it in Bergen-Belsen? Germans had a plan. There were concentration camps over Germany in many places. And they want to have the, the Jews in one place to liquidate them there because it was the only place which... And they, every concentration camp, they shipped to Bergen-Belsen. I found myself in Bergen and I was there for about already three, four months or even more. I remember the dates, but I was in Bergen. Very bad situation. Bergen Belgium was. Uh, you, I remember on a Friday I came there, I couldn't walk over there because so many people were on the, on the, on the ground. So, I was there, but I'm not talking now because this is. Many things, many details. And How did the Jews and the Bells know that the war was over? Uh, they already knew that there was another war over because they started two weeks before started already the war. You said that it was May 8th, May 8th, you said the war was over. But uh, they couldn't trust everyone. Uh, there was a lot of women, a lot of men. And I still stayed about two weeks until I came in the line. Were so there any the chair? No, no. Nobody? Nah. So first they transport the women. Whatever women like. Didn't have means. They then tripped to deal the, the two, three thousand people or so on. So I stayed there still two weeks. It was very bad. No change, same thing. Uh, except food. Where they how, did the, how did the HP speak to you? The people, uh, they get all kinds of invaders in, 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 in either and then uh, 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 so it worked. Uh, so I related, so I'm going to talk now what I left the narration. So I say that in my cell like this, uh, everybody, where, there were people asking where to go, when you were home, you want to go to church. Who, who was, to who asked you? Over there, and, and, and where we were liberated, and a week, week later. English people? Uh, they were liberated, Jew, Jewish people, mostly Jewish. They had a joint distribution there, there. So, asked everyone, not immediately, it took, it took about two weeks until they, my line came first, they went through the women. Did you know any there? I met that, yeah. Anybody from your family? From my family, but I knew that, and I, later on, I met from two or three whom I saw them there, and they knew me, and I knew you them. Anyhow, what were the accommodations after the war? Where, where did people sleep in Bergen Belsen after the war? In Bergen it took two weeks. And, and where were you? Was two weeks in barracks? In barracks there, and except the food, they got food, everyone, but people, there were many who died there because they ate the food and they couldn't take it, you know. They I, bring bread? Not bread, they ate. The English people brought bread in cans eat. That's all? They, they can't. <coughs> but people couldn't eat it. A lot of them died then. Okay. Because, all right. because they just stand it, that the stomach didn't take it. I ate also, and I had a very bad night at that time. And I ate it, but I, many people died there okay. in the place. So, 
I'm going to talk now. Not what happened. What happened after that? So I about two weeks they still there. Did they give you vacation? No case, nothing. Because there's too many people to handle them. And social workers that they have you but but there's uh, many people from my other they all shipped the concentration camp to Bergen Belden. Okay. Uh, see Bergen Belden was before concentration camp but not too many people. But the Germans now, at the end of the war, started to ship from all concentration camps to Bergelden. And they have a one place they didn't know, they didn't know what to do with them. And the Germans will kill them or whatever, whatever they did, but they shipped them, they wanted to have them in one place. So I find myself there for two weeks. Anyhow, I'm going to talk about the liberation. What happened there, the, the story, it was two weeks until I came on the line and it was very bad. Except food, they brought a little food more. The English people. Who were the Americans? They weren't there? No, the English people. And then the Russian came in. Then the Russian came in. So, at the celebration, I started to think myself, where am I going from here? So they asked everyone, not immediately, but as the line came, and there were many, many people, where do you prefer to go? So most of the people said they want to go home to their old home, and some said, that, no, I don't want to see that, that anymore, I want to go to Czechia, I want to go there. So they wrote it down, and they, tran they tran transported you, not immediately, they waited, to the, same, to the place you were asking. And over there, when you came to this place, they were already prepared to, to accept refugees and to have the food and to have everything. Where but was took this place? A, took Where place. was this place? It was a desk? And Tella. How far is that from Bergen-Belsen? Uh, Tella is near, near Hamburg. So how did you get there? Well, yeah. How do I... They transported Oh, them. okay. And then I don't know. In about what? That. In what did you... Were they you transported? They brought buses? What? What did they bring? Buses? No, nah, it took a long time. The process took a little But what, did, what were you transported? Two weeks, three weeks. But what were you transported in? And uh, first they transported the women. I was transported in, in uh, they, had, uh, they had cars with four people, but they had too many people. And first they transported the women. They, didn't, they couldn't make the accommodation. So I stayed there about two weeks. Okay. So these were cars that were equipped to take four people. This is a long story to tell about the staying there and being there. So I say myself, I'm liberated. They asked me there where I want to go. So I say I want to go to Brunn. Then they wrote it down to Brunn. We we'll have uh, there some checks here, not people who chicks where you want to go to study with you and go. So I'm on the line to go to Brook. So actually, I come, not immediately, they didn't go right right away, took, took time. So they brought me to, to Brook. Marlene, to stop it, I press that again. <laughs>